Hey, what's up creators? It's Adrian from ProductionCrate.com and today I just want to show you my process for rendering plants inside of Element 3D. Now, historically, rendering plants in Element has been, in a lot of cases, very difficult. Now, there's certain objects that are no problem. Like, we've always been able to do dead trees, right? Things like this tree stump or these logs, these wouldn't be an issue. But there are some things, I'm talking about leafy plants, that due to the way that we build textures, just don't really work that well in Element. So I'm going to show you how to make this work. So let's go ahead and download that. I do have, of course, Crate Connect installed, so it went straight into an organized folder. And since I have done this before, I've already unzipped this and it is ready to use. Now in Element, we're going to import one of the ferns. It doesn't matter which one. And it comes in looking like nothing. So let's just go ahead and go through and start solving problems. If we click Normalize Size, it's going to make it big enough that we can see it. Next, we probably are going to want to put this in a particle system or something later. So it'll help if the anchor point is aligned properly. So let's change the alignment to from model and now the anchor point is in the right place. If we turn to look at the bottom, it starts to disappear. It's invisible from that side. So let's open up the texture itself and select draw back faces. Now, speaking of textures, some of our texture maps are not currently linked. So let's just go through and make sure all of those are in the right spot. Now everything is looking fine, except there's these big chunks of green around the leaves. And that's the main problem that we're here to solve today. So let's hit okay. And now we're back in After Effects and we need to import our base color texture as well as our opacity map and drag them into a new comp and we're going to use the opacity as a luma mat. Luma mat. Now if rendering plants and element is something you expect to be doing all the time you'll probably want to just go ahead and save this as a png or something and put it right there in your texture folder for this object. We're just going to go ahead and push forward without doing that. So let's bring that new comp into this main comp and add it as a custom texture map in element and then let's open the scene setup back up and then under diffuse we just need to select that new texture as our diffuse texture and then under the advanced tab we just need to drag our alpha threshold up to something besides zero and there we go so an element we always like to make a control null it just doesn't make much sense to try and work without one and we're gonna move it down to the ground because that's where plants go and we're gonna go ahead and change our particle replicator to maybe a plane and we're gonna add a bunch of new particles we're gonna give them some random size and rotation and there we go we have a field of plants right here in element this is gonna work with any of our plants that have leaf detail including grass ferns and trees so if you're not much of a 3d artist and all you have is element you no longer have to be afraid of us here at render crate i'll talk to you in the next one later creators